Over 25 years ago, the world came together to grieve Princess Diana at her funeral. Approximately 60 million flowers were left in front of Buckingham Palace and around London in her honor. As the world bid farewell to Princess Diana, an element of her funeral stirred curiosity. Why did the royal family choose a closed casket? Stay tuned as we delve into the mystery surrounding this poignant decision. In the wake of the Duke of Edinburgh's passing in the spring of 2021, mourners are now reflecting on the parallels and distinctions between Princess Diana's funeral and the one for Prince Philip. As preparations unfold for Prince Philip's funeral, scheduled to be attended by Prince William, Prince Harry, and the late Duke's son, Prince Charles, a notable divergence from Princess Diana's funeral comes to the forefront. An open casket versus a closed casket. Princess Diana's casket was closed out of respect. In a poignant departure from the funeral arrangements for Princess Diana, Prince Philip, in accordance with his wishes, will not lie in state. Instead, the late Duke's body will rest at peace in the private chapel of Windsor Castle, and his casket will be open. This choice deviates significantly from the protocol followed during Princess Diana's funeral, where she laid in state in the Chapel Royal at St. James's Palace with a closed casket. The distinction in the handling of caskets marks a pivotal divergence in the farewell ceremonies for these two revered figures. Prince Philip's decision for an open casket adds a layer of solemnity and reflection to the proceedings, inviting collective contemplation on the unique customs observed by the royal family in moments of grief. Despite her divorce from Prince Charles a year before her tragic demise in 1997, Princess Diana, though no longer technically holding the title of princess, was accorded the honor of a ceremonial funeral. This distinction is noteworthy as ceremonial funerals are typically reserved for members of the royal family, emphasizing the enduring impact she had on the public consciousness. The ceremonial procession for Princess Diana adhered to traditional British customs, a spectacle that included the use of a closed casket, as observed by one British expatriate and blogger. This adherence to established protocols may have been driven by a commitment to maintaining the solemnity and dignity associated with royal ceremonies. However, it also prompts speculation about whether there were additional reasons behind the choice of a closed coffin. The decision to keep Princess Diana's coffin closed, adhering to British tradition, may have been influenced not only by these customary practices, but also by the tragic circumstances surrounding her untimely death in August 1997. The tragic incident in Paris, where she and her companion Ahmad Dodi Fayed were involved in a car accident while attempting to escape paparazzi, remains etched in global memory. The subsequent crash, resulting in the deaths of Fayed and the driver Henry Paul, prompted authorities to rush Princess Diana to Pitié Salpêtrière Hospital, where, despite two hours of operation, she succumbed to severe chest injuries. Given the circumstances surrounding her untimely demise, Princess Diana underwent an autopsy. The royal family, considering the nature of her injuries and the aftermath of the tragic event, made the decision to keep her casket closed during the funeral. Additionally, the decision to seal Princess Diana's closed coffin with a lead lining, another custom of the British monarchy aimed at preserving the body, as noted by Metro UK, served a dual purpose. Beyond the preservation aspect, it afforded the late royal a measure of privacy and dignity in death. This choice allowed mourners to remember Princess Diana not solely for the tragic circumstances of her passing, but also for the way she lived her life, a celebration of her legacy and the positive impact she had on countless lives. Details about Princess Diana's coffin. In the aftermath of Princess Diana's funeral in 1997, additional details emerged about the poignant symbolism surrounding her coffin, a heartbreaking reminder of the loss experienced by her sons. CNN reported that on top of the casket, a card addressed to Mummy was placed, accompanied by three wreaths of white roses. These wreaths were tender offerings from Prince William, Prince Harry, 
and Princess Diana's brother, Earl Spencer, serving as a poignant tribute to their beloved mother. Despite the absence of an open casket, Parade revealed that Princess Diana was laid to rest in a black woolen long-sleeve cocktail dress designed by Catherine Walker. Remarkably, she had reportedly commissioned this dress just weeks before her untimely demise. The intricacies of Princess Diana's funeral extended beyond the visual elements, delving into the personal and spiritual tokens that accompanied her on her final journey. As reported by the Daily Express, in her hands were placed rosary beads and a cherished photograph of her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. The rosary beads were said to be a thoughtful gift from Mother Teresa, dispatched to the Piti Salpetriere Hospital as soon as news of the tragic accident reached her. The photograph included in Diana's final resting place was one that she purportedly carried with her wherever she went, underscoring the enduring bond between a mother and her children. Adding another layer of sentiment, Paul Burrell, a former servant of the royal family and Diana's butler, disclosed to Good Morning America that he discreetly arranged pictures of Prince William and Prince Harry inside the princess's coffin. According to Burrell, these pictures, retrieved from under Diana's glass dressing table, held special significance as they were part of her daily routine. She adored her boys, Burrell noted, emphasizing that these cherished images, which Diana looked at every morning, were deemed fitting to accompany her on her journey to another place. Princess Diana's funeral was an international spectacle. Princess Diana's funeral transcended its ceremonial aspects, becoming a global event that left an indelible mark on the collective memory. Mourners flocked to the streets of London to pay their respects, forming a solemn procession of grief. The magnitude of the occasion was reflected in the staggering number of viewers worldwide, with approximately 2.5 billion people tuning in to witness the poignant farewell. This remarkable figure represented nearly half of the world's population at that time, underscoring the profound impact Diana had on hearts across the globe. The funeral, attended by an array of celebrities, fashion designers, and politicians, became a somber convergence of international figures. Luminaries such as Tom Cruise, Nicole Kidman, Tom Hanks, Donatella Versace, Karl Lagerfeld, Anna Wintour, Richard Branson, and Hillary Clinton, the First Lady of the United States at the time, paid their respects to the beloved princess. The presence of these renowned individuals underscored Diana's widespread influence beyond the realms of royalty. One of the most memorable and emotionally charged moments occurred when Elton John, a close friend of Princess Diana, performed his rendition of Candle in the Wind during the funeral. Originally written in 1973 as a tribute to Marilyn Monroe, Elton John adapted the song to honor Diana, and the live performance became an iconic tribute. The song's subsequent release as a single achieved unprecedented success, selling over 33 million copies worldwide and earning the distinction of being the best-selling chart single of all time, according to Forbes. Yet, amid the grandeur and star-studded attendance, perhaps the most poignant aspect of Princess Diana's funeral lay in the participation of her father-in-law, Prince Philip, and her young sons, Princes William and Harry. Prince Philip walked alongside Prince Harry and Prince William at their mother's funeral. Prince Philip, ever attuned to the emotional well-being of his grandsons, displayed a deep concern for Princes William and Harry in the aftermath of their mother's tragic death. A former government relations director recounted an impactful moment when Prince Philip, previously silent on the matter, passionately voiced his distress. It's about the boys he cried, expressing anguish over the loss of their mother, as reported by Today. This heartfelt plea underscored the grandfather's commitment to ensuring the well-being of his grieving grandchildren. Princess Anne, Philip's daughter and the mother of the young princes, recalled the poignant moment when Philip proposed to walk alongside William and Harry in the funeral procession. In an interview with ITV, she remembered the familial dialogue that led to this decision. If you'll do it, 
I'll do it, Philip had reportedly said, revealing a grandfather's protective instinct. This compassionate gesture by Philip marked a significant contribution to the family's collective decision to include the young princes in the solemn procession. During the funeral walk from Kensington Palace to Westminster Abbey, Prince Philip stood alongside the grieving heirs, Prince William at 15 and Prince Harry at 12, as well as Prince Charles and Princess Diana's brother, Earl Spencer. The inclusion of the young princes in such a public and solemn ceremony was a carefully weighed decision, acknowledged by Prince William. Speaking to the BBC, he reflected on the delicate balance between duty and family, emphasizing the necessity of honoring both aspects. The joint family decision to include the boys in the procession, though challenging, was deemed a fitting tribute to their late mother. Decades later, Prince Harry expressed mixed emotions about their highly publicized involvement in the funeral, underscoring the enduring impact it had on Diana's sons. Open casket funerals are uncommon in England. The decision to keep Princess Diana's casket closed during her funeral was undoubtedly influenced by various factors, not least of which was the presence of her two young sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. Parade notice that presenting Diana in an open casket, under those circumstances, would have added an extra layer of somberness to an already emotionally charged event. Despite the closed casket, the late princess was laid to rest with the same elegance and grace for which she was known throughout her life. The likelihood of Princess Diana having an open casket funeral was extremely low, considering that such ceremonies are not a common practice in England. In fact, open casket funerals have been infrequent in the country since the Victorian era. During that time, mourners would sit beside the deceased for several days as part of a tradition known as a wake. This practice served not only as a way to pay respects, but also as a precautionary measure to ensure that the person was genuinely deceased and not in a coma, as reported by Haunted O.C. In the Victorian era, taking photographs of the deceased was also part of this mourning process. Fortunately, the morbid practice of post-mortem photography has long been abandoned. While the wake tradition persists more commonly in America and other parts of the world, it has become less prevalent in England over the years. Princess Diana's burial was distinctive in its adherence to English customs. She was laid to rest in a lead casket, a choice believed to better preserve bodies compared to wooden caskets. Princess Diana's grave isn't open to the public either. In addition to the decision for a closed casket at Princess Diana's funeral, the royal family also opted to restrict access to her grave, ensuring its privacy and protection. This choice was driven by the concerns of Earl Spencer, Princess Diana's brother, who sought to safeguard his sister's legacy and maintain the sanctity of her final resting place. The family shared the belief that an open grave accessible to the public might attract vandalism. Consequently, the royal family chose Althorpe, Princess Diana's childhood home, as the location for her burial. Earl Spencer, as the owner of the estate, expressed confidence that this decision was the most appropriate. In 2017, he revealed that there were attempted break-ins at Diana's grave on four occasions, thwarted successfully each time. While the Althorpe estate is open to the public during the summer months, access to Princess Diana's grave remains restricted. Earl Spencer's commitment to preserving the privacy and dignity of his sister's final resting place is evident in these protective measures. Visitors who wish to pay their respects to the late Princess of Wales are encouraged to visit the memorial temple located across from the lake on the estate. That wraps up today's video. Be sure to explore our latest content by clicking here. Stay tuned for more videos featuring your favorite celebrities. We have plenty in store. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon ensuring you won't miss any future updates. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.